Hey guys, I'm coming to you today to give you my review on the As I Am products that I purchased um, a little over three or four weeks ago. So the first item that I purchased was the Coconut Co-Wash. And I have heard a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff about this co-wash. And one of my co-workers actually um, told me that I should try it out. So I did. I gave it a go. Um, I give this about 4.5 stars out of 5. I absolutely love this stuff. Okay. So it is creamy, as you can see. I love that it's creamy. Um... It is messy though. Um, you can put this in a squeegee bottle like I did. One of those little applicator bottles. Um, or a pump or something that'll, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm getting sick. Um, a pump or something that'll keep it a little more neat because you can knock that over. Um, the things that I like about it is it was extremely moisturizing when I went to put it in my hair. It kind of melted into it and it allowed me to finger detangle. I'm not sure what, what slip really is, um, but I could finger detangle it and my hand slid down it, so I'm gonna say that slip. Um, I didn't have to use a lot of this product. I think in about each section I'd use about that much and I usually split my hair into four sections when I wash it. Um, and let's see, what else did I like about it? I love the smell of it. It's got a light coconutty smell. Um, I like the fact that I did not have to follow it with another conditioner. Now, when it comes to cleansing conditioners, I expect to have to condition my hair afterwards because I think cleansing conditioners have a little more cleansing power. So they tend to leave my hair a little more stripped. But when I do a co-wash, when I'm using something that is titled a co-wash, I do not plan on using any kind of conditioner afterwards. And I didn't have to. It um, it left my hair soft. It defined my curls when I put it in. Um, it did not strip my hair. It did not make my hair feel oily. It, it actually just left my hair feeling really conditioned. So yes, I do plan on repurchasing this. Um, and I, I probably won't have to do it for a while because I've used this about five maybe six times and it is it's like right here like I'm, I don't have to use a lot of it and I, I like not having to use a lot of product um, in my hair so yes I like that one the next one is the leave-in conditioner and this I'm kind of on the fence about um, it's it's not spectacular enough for me to say that this will be a staple leave-in conditioner it's not a bad leave-in conditioner but for me I like I like creamier leave-in conditioners that um, don't weigh my hair down. So this was kind of watery to, in, to my liking. It's, you know, it was kind of, you see it's runny. Um, it smells great. It has that same soft smell. I do like the smell. I do like the smell of all these products because it, it does not linger. Um, that I can do and it does not clash with anything that I wear like my perfumes and stuff so that's always a plus for me just got shot um <laughs> that's always a plus for me um what I do like about this um it does it melts into my hair really good and oh I should have showed you actually how much I would put in each section about that much into each section of my hair one time I had to use a little bit more in, in one section for some reason it was dry as hell and um it just needed a little more love so we put a little more in it and I have, I've used about, I can see it, I use about that much. So I have just about the whole bottle left and I've used this numerous amounts of times already. So I like the fact that I don't have to use a lot of it and it, it's pretty effective. The only thing is I don't think this will be able to stand alone. If I did not put an oil or a moisturizer on top of it, I don't think my hair would stay moisturized that long. But, I mean, I do that anyway, so who who cares? Um, the only con I really have about it is that it, I mean, it's, it wasn't what I was looking for, I'll say that much. This might be a good summer or spring leave-in or a good leave-in for somebody with a finer hair texture than mine. This, moisture milk. Moisture milk, that's funny. It's funny you said it like that, as I am. This, this, no. 
And you know what? And now that I look at it and it says daily hair revitalizer, that 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 sounds pretty true because as you can see, oh, I don't know because I just shook it up, but I'm, I'm about down here. Like I've used about half of this bottle and that's because when I put this in my hair, my hair does not stay moisturized past the day, which is sad because I co-wash, I put my leave-in in, I put oil on, I put this on, I put oil on my hair should be moisturized no so like this here is a braid out and this is day two of the braid out but last night when i went to and as you can see it's it's drying out again when i went to you know prep it for bed i had to add more oil into my hair um and i'm not sure you know what i'm not even gonna say it's because my hair is just drying out because it's cold because it doesn't do that when I put a heavier product in it. So this may just be too light for my hair, but it does not moisturize at all and I have to use it too much. Like I'm used to re-moisturizing or refreshing my hair maybe two to three days after I do it. And that's that's the norm for me. So no, I would not repurchase this again. And it's $16. Like this bottle cost me $16. So if I'm paying $16 for something, I don't want to have to keep using it and using it and using it to do what it says it's supposed to do. No, not at all. And, you know, I don't like using a lot of products. So the first time I used my little nickel size drop or whatever you want to call it in each one of my sections. And then the next time I, I caked it in and I still had the same results. So, I mean, and this is satin scarf, satin pillowcase, satin, bon satin everything. This, no, I, I don't recommend you purchase this. I don't, I wouldn't do it. For all the butters that it says it has in it, cocoa butter, shea butter, sweet almond oil, jojoba, no. Don't do it, guys. This is an epic fail. Epic fail. Will not repurchase this. Do not recommend it to anybody. Don't even think, I'm a, you know what, I'm going to use the rest of it because I paid $16 for it, but it's going to be kind of pointless. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Maybe I'll rub it on a cat. Who knows? Anyway, the next product, which I absolutely love, is this smoothing gel. And this is actually my third or fourth jar of this stuff. Um, I per This was the first thing out of the line that I actually purchased. I love this stuff because I actually did get multi-uses out of it. Um, when I use it to slick down my edges or... I mean, the hair would be sleek. It, it looks good. I love this stuff. Um, I used it for a wash and go. That was the first thing that I did with all these products was a wash and go. And I have pictures of all the styles that I did with it. And, you know, I'll give you a little collage at the end so you can see it. Um, I have pictures with the way that the leave-in and the co-wash made my hair look, Well, you know, right after I did it when it was wet. And how it clumped my curls and made them look all that good stuff. So I'll, I'll post those at the end. But this here, I love it. It smells good. It has a soft to medium hold when I did it in my wash and go. Um, the only thing that I didn't like about it when I did it in my wash and go is that when I went to refresh it, I had to actually add more gel. And usually when I refresh my wash and goes, I usually only have to do a leave-in and maybe oil or leave-in in the moisturizer or something like that. So I had to actually put more of this on it. Um, also, I just lost my train of thought. Oh my God, I'm getting old. Okay, so yeah, so that, I did that with it. Oh, it flakes. Um, This stuff will flake on you if you cake it on numerous amounts of times without moisturizing your hair um, or spraying it with some kind of water. It will flake on you. Um, It did not flake when I, you know, took down any of my twists or any of my stuff that I did with it. It doesn't flake in that sense, but it, it will flake if you cake too much on it or if I don't remember if it meshed too well with a lot of products, but I mean, but I mean, I, <laughs> y'all just throwing stuff. I, um, <laughs> I love this stuff. I, I recommend you get it. Um, I mean, I, I'll, I continue to buy it, and I, I can't really tell you why, but I do. It's, I mean, I just love it. I mean, it. I love yeah. It. So, I mean, I, I love it. I will continue to buy it. I love everything about it. Um, 
So that's my review of the four products that I purchased. So the co-wash, yes, definitely try this. If you like co-washes, even if you don't like co-washes, try this one. I actually like this. I, I love it. And I don't want to say it, but this is better than Rest in Peace cleansing conditioner that I was using from my favorite product line that I would get online. Um, the leave-in, sure, try it. I'm going to actually get my mom to try it and her hair. Her hair is much finer than mine. She has like a 3A wavy pattern and it's um, super silky. So this might actually work in a hair texture like that. But, I mean, it, it didn't destroy my hair, but it just didn't, it wasn't anything to, you know, write home about. I think that's the same, but yeah. Anyway, if you want to try it, you can try it. And it didn't cost $16, so that's another good thing. Don't do it. Don't be tempted. Don't do it. No. No. Yes. I liked it so much, I threw it across the room a minute ago. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this review helps somebody. Um... I will post pictures of the numerous styles that I did and, you know, my upkeep. But, yeah, like I said, this is a second day braid out. And, I mean, it's getting dry. I'm very upset. I probably need, like, a really, really heavy butter. But, anyway. So, the next line that I will be doing will be the Oyen Handmade line. I actually purchased some of those products from the Atlanta Hair Show um, a couple weeks ago. So, Stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.